Hello folks, this is Melon Seed Man and I'm here to give a tutorial on how to do cutouts for your action figure photography. All you need here is a computer and a laser jet printer and some knowledge of MS Paint and WordPad. So let's get started. Now on your computer, you need to download these kinds of fonts to be able to use for your cutouts. You can see you got five different fonts to use. You got Digital Strip, Anime Ace, Back Issues, CC Wild Words, and Bada Boom. The first four you can use for making cutouts when your figures are actually trying to speak something. Now, Bada Boom over here, this one over here, is um, the, what you need when you want to do cutouts of certain expressions like explosions or shouting words or any sound effects once you get done download all of these fonts you're already started you're already halfway there next is you go to google and try to download speech bubbles top one over here is used for speech the bottom one's for shouting and also a thought bubble. Once you got these all from Google, you can get things started. Now go back to MS Paint and open up a new document for new work. And then try to type in words that would you definitely use for your character. I suggest to use common words so that you can use them over and over again. That would be things like no. Hold on. Let's change the font into. Let's gonna let's use wild words. Okay. Now you can type words like no. And, and then all you have to do is try to copy this part by by clicking select rectangular selection all you have to do is just select the whole thing and then you copy it once you get that copied you're gonna open up a new document and you're gonna have to look for those uh, speech bubbles that I was talking about a while ago so I've saved them somewhere here which is down over there, speech balloon. Go and save it. And just say, don't save for that one. And then you can just paste your word inside the speech bubble. But as you can see, the speech bubble is actually quite bigger than the word itself. So what we can do is just, we could just have to resize the speech bubbles to make this fit. So all I have to do is click resize. I would do 50% first to see how small it is and I think the size is kind of more than enough so see if you can paste your word and see if it actually fits well inside the speech bubble well it fits but I still think it's too big so we can just try to resize it one more time maybe around around so, no, I think it's 20% or 25% or 20% which is too small so let's try resizing it to 75% okay we got the size now we try to paste our word and as you can see it fits exactly in the middle don't be too um to worry about this little th edgy thing that's kind of erase this part over here because all you have to do is highlight this one the word go to select and use transparent selection and that would make the word kind of transparent so you can move it all around with no problems once you got that settled you can then save it for next time 
Save it as... No. Oops, daily, sorry. Save it as no. And save. It says a transparency will be lost. Uh, don't worry about this, just click OK. and script that part. And now we'll go to our word pad. Right, let's kind of clear this up first and click a new one. Say, just say save. Uh, okay, now here you just have to click picture. And then you have to choose the, the speech bubble you just made a while ago. As you can see, I made a few bits over here already. And there says no over there, and just open it, and voila, it shows over there. Now, to save yourself some money in printing, I would suggest make all the speech bubbles you can, and then put them all in one sheet, like this one, and go to picture, and add more speech bubbles as you see fit, like, hey, And make it smaller because believe me if you print these they'll be too big so just make an approximate size the size of this sheet over here is about the approximate size of an A4 sheet so try to fit as many as you can so that when you print an A4 sheet it'll be just one full sheet so There you go, this is too big, so all you have to do is just make it smaller and make them fit together. I don't know where the other one went, but all you have to do is just put it there. Just put them all together, whatever you feel like putting. So, it's about the same thing. There you go. This is just for an example. You can just highlight like that. And then so on and so forth. Just highlight them through here. Print them all out and then you can print them one one go. Now for the special effects bubbles, you can either use Padaboom, which is where is it? Over there. Which is this one over here. And you can just type whatever word you want to do. Hold on a minute, that's the wrong one. So, click with a boom. Make sure it's. Let's open a new one. <coughs> Pardon me. So, let's do put a boom. And then let's increase the font to, like, say, 28. Right? I can type words like smash or crack. And you can actually make it bigger depending on the f font size you wanted. So let's make it you can write 48. There you go. Something like that. Now with these you can also change the color. But you have to go to MS Paint for that. So if you go to MS Paint, click a new click a new one out there. Expand your field of work. And then click the text button and then you can start typing by putting a text box over here choose by the boom and then choose what color you wanted let's say red or burgundy for that matter and then type the word like smash or crack And that's how you do it. The downside to this is that you don't get those edges well, like outlines. So I don't really use MS Paint when it comes to typing my special effect words. For that, you can go to a special website, which I'm going to show you. That's minimize this and close this one first Just don't say okay now for 
the actual website. You go to Google and type this website, fontmeme.com, which specializes a lot of comic fonts. So, the, as you can see here, these are specialized font ones. So, all you have to do is go down here at this level where you can write your text right over here and then you select what kind of font do you want so let's just say I type the word crack okay now you select the font you wanted and all the fonts for comic books are all here including Vodaboo of course which is somewhere around here let me have a look but a boom right over there now as you scroll down you can see there's a select and effect style I usually choose the ones with an outline but there's only so much in here but I used to choose outline B with that you can also change the color effect so I choose let's say red or maroon for that matter or let's see red there you go just go as red as you can and now once you get all that you, you got your font you got your word you got the effect and you got a color and you can just click generate and voila there's your word outline this you can download by right clicking and choose save image as and just type in what kind of, what the file you want it to be so I'll put it on, on crack and save it so that when you go to your MS Paint let's open a new one speech balloon Let's look for that shout balloon we saw a while ago. So let's open that and look for a shout balloon over here, which is right down there. Open that up. Which of course, it's not too big, so just resize it as you see fit. Let's put this down as 125. It's still too small. You get the picture, don't you? So let's resize it. Pardon me. Resize it to 150. Good. And now you can. Oh, hold on a minute. Let's go back. First, I'm sorry about that. First, you have to open and look for the actual word that you downloaded a while ago, which is crack. Select all these, select the whole thing, select all, and then you copy it. Once you get that copied, open your shot balloon again, resize it to the actual size of the font that you're actually putting on, say 150, and then try pasting it. And there you go. Now you have an effect inside of a shot balloon. Just save it as you see fit. Save as shout. So that next time, so that next time when you open up WordPad to edit the printing, just select the picture. And then look for it, which is somewhere over there. Here you go. And there it is. Ready for printing. You can minimize it. Elongate it a bit. Whichever way you want it to be. Right. Now that I've shown you how to make the speeches, the cutouts, we will next tackle on how to cut these and apply them on 
special po on poster board, cut them into spot sizes, and use them on your action figure photography. I'll see you on the next one.